Hello and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be doing on a set of tutorials for basically the newest version of 001 Game Creator and yeah so what we're doing is we're, I'm going to show you how to make a platformer game that will be a little bit like this one this is one that I've just put together just then in about 40 minutes so when you fall into the lava you just die and disappear I'm not going to show you how to restart the level because that will, well I will but like just not yet if that makes any sense if you want oh, I'm terrible at my own platformer do you know what screw this right um And this is why I don't play. This is why I do not play platformers, everyone. <sighs> okay. Instead of playing my my own plat, oh, do you know what? Screw it. Screw it. No. Screw it now. No, I'll do it. I won't do it. Stop being a massive douche. Right, so when you go here, it's going to say five. Wait a second, four. Wait a second, three. Wait a second, two. Wait a second, one. Teleporting, and it'll take you back here. And when you go out of the map, ow, it's going to take you to there. Which, you've got this... Burr, there. Burr, that will try and kill you. So, yeah. I think it'll try and kill you, anyways. I'm too scared to jump on there. <laughs> oh, God. This, this is the problem here. Oh. Okay. So, apparently, I can just jump on top of him. So I've not got the bow working yet because you know, forty minutes. What what can I do? Two minutes. Wow. Okay. So yep. If you want that game, then I'm gonna work on it after this video, and then I'll just like put it in the description of some sort. Um. So yeah. Create a new game. Go to file. No, I think it just says game. I don't know. I'll just go on the main screen and click on new or something. I don't know. Create a new game. Click on the platformer game, which is now on the newest versions. No longer grayed out because it actually has resources in it now. I can't wait until the next version because I think they might be putting in point and click adventure. And that's just going to be awesome. So yeah, platformer, and let's go. Okay, so it's going to load up this. It's going to give you all the ground, default ground items, and the water. I'm not sure what water actually does. Let's try and see what it does. Oh, nothing. You can just see it. So at the minute you've just got this weird person that's jumping around like this and got running animations so yeah okay so what I'm gonna do first before actually setting up the level is I'm gonna go to players and party members up here edit actor well this is male I thought that was female okay can you have a female? Oh, you can have a ninja. Ah, oh, yes. That that's that's what we're gonna be. We're gonna be a ninja. Are we literally a ninja now? Okay, it looks strange when you stop. Okay, we're not gonna be a ninja. I 
could set up being a ninja, but I can't be bothered. Um, we can be an ogre, we can be any of these. We can be a robot. Can we be a robot? <laughs> robot just looks weird unless you're walking. I think we'll be a robot. Okay. So, as always in my games, I'm going to show you how to set up a menu. If you don't want to do the menu, then go ahead and skip. I don't know. Just wait for the next tutorial. But every good game needs a menu, in my opinion. If It's not a game if you don't have a menu. Again, in my opinion. I'm not that good at challenging people on these sort of platformer games so don't expect anything good coming out of this but um I'm interested to see what everyone else does with them so yeah okay so this is our starting map which is going to be a menu so player enters go to properties and then double click player enters message box saying welcome to and then you put your game in here exclamation mark and then for the choices we're gonna have play and exit and then under play we're gonna have nothing because we've not made the new map yet and under exit we're gonna have game quick game right click the arrow there and then just drag it to this one make sure it's under the exit one so if the pick exit it's gonna quit the game so yeah that's the menu set up okay so go to tutorial no forgot you can't do that anymore click on the new map icon which is the file and then the plus and then you can put in map one. Oh, I put two never mind rename map one there we go oh. ah. I'm clicking everything one to the okay one I don't care doesn't do anything just just wow I'm doing the best today at typing absolute best and you know what we don't even need this because we're gonna duplicate the starting map and call this map one so now we have this we're gonna completely just clear this we go and we're going to select the lava, which I believe is this one, I think. Yep, there you go. Get the lava. And then this is where we're going to start. And these two is where we're going to end. Is where we will end. Did I say it right? I don't care. Okay, so we're going to have some snow. That doesn't make sense. That's snow blocks. We're going to have some sand. go right so zone here is collided with actor it's gonna take us up there and then on here it's gonna take us up there There we go. Right. And now this is the most important bit because you don't want them to just fall down and do nothing because that's the most boring platformer ever. So what you need is to go to zone and just pick, like, go from one side of the map to the other where the lava is and drag it all on from one side to the other. 
collide with the player again, and we're going to go. Bleh. We're going to go to expand events, actors. Scroll down. Kill slash revive actor. Main kill. Message box. You have died. Revive main menu. So if you choose to revive, then it's gonna GNU Kill No revive and it's gonna position the actor back to the spawn. So you can only have this really if you're having the same spawn for all of them. But if you can be bothered to go on every time if you can be bothered to like go on to here, double click, and then click on the new map and then go to the spawn, then go ahead and do that, but I'm I'm too lazy to do that. So yep. That's how you create the respawn system. If you want to go to the main menu, did we put that? Yeah. If you want to go to the main menu, just position actor, starting map, wherever. And there we go. Did I make? Oh, yeah. This is this is what I forgot. Okay. Um, you need to go up here to game settings. Go to default HUD. Go to HUD. Um. The rest are all right. The starting map. You want to hold control and scroll upwards, and then just select the starting area for your map. That's about it. Um. Oh, controls as well. Um, if you don't want jump to be you don't need magic. If you don't want jump to be left shift, then you can just add it and put space. If you want to just completely remove left shift, click remove, but I'm going to keep left shift and space. Um, click OK. Oh, that's building the game. I don't want to do that yet. Um, so the you can actually still play, as you can see the robots there so we don't want that so go to properties and where it says welcome to game also play we can do now position actor map one position them on the spawn go um, right click when it at the top of here where it goes to an arrow right click that click on start and we want to go to expand events, actors, change existence, main, non existent. There we go. And same for this, same again, just change existence. This time we're going to be existent, like that. Click OK, click OK. Run the game, yes. Right, so now we're no longer there. I've just pointed at the screen. I don't know why. How long are we on? Oh, 30 minutes. It's okay. Um, no longer there. If we click play, it's going to take us here. Oh, we need to remove this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can press space to run and jump. So as you can see, it basically just did that. Don't know if you saw it. Till put... Ugh teleported us there and then when we jumped here teleported us up there but up here we can't really do anything because well we just can't so you have died revive wow main menu so that's our health system up there by the way um, if you didn't already know okay so Next episode, I'm going to be showing you how to. Why is that starting map? What? Okay. Map one, you mong. There we go. Okay, okay.
So next episode I'm going to show you how to link from here to a next map and I'll show you some other cool things. Um, one thing I'm going to do now before ending, I'm actually just going to change this to a male. There we go, just make him completely black. I'll add some colour to him in a minute. This is just to like... Right, okay, so the body, we're going to put as peach. Where's orange? There it is. Peach. There we go. The hair, we're going to keep as black. Hat, we don't need one. Shirt, we're going to have a shirt. It's going to be blue because YOLO. Um, this is going to be blue as well. And this, black. There we go. So, yeah. That's about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.